Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we'll be continuing our web application series and learn how to add progress bar and other functionalities to our application. You can also find the sample code in the video description. If you didn't know how to use WebView, you can check out here. Click the i button to watch the previous video. So first I am gonna put the URL in a string. So I don't have to type URL every time. Copy the URL. Create a string and paste it here. Now delete the following URL and pass the string. Now there is a problem in our previous web application. That is when we click and link it take us to the browser to open that web page. But we don't want that. We want that web page open in our application. So let's fix it. For that, take a web view and call set web view client on it. New web view client. And in the parentheses, we'll write the code. Type Ctrl O from your keyboard and select this method. Shoot overwritten URL loading. We don't need that super part. It's gonna return the web view in a view format. So type view dot load URL and paste this URL. and return true. Now we are done. Now we are gonna add progress bar in our application. So go the activity main.xml and I am using linear layout. You can use any layout you want. In the above of web view, we will create an progress bar with the width, match parent and the height wrap content. By default, the progress bar will look like a spinner, but we don't want that. We want the progress bar to look like a horizontal progress bar. For that, we will give an attribute called style. Type like this that I am type question mark android colon atr slash and choose progress bar style horizontal. Now let's see how our progress bar look like this. For that, give a little bit progress called progress and I will give this progress of 50%. And by default, the progress color will be the red, but we want to change the color. For that, choose the progress tint attribute and choose whatever color you like. Now let's decrease some margin for better view. I will decrease the margin of the bottom by 6 dp. Now let's give the progress bar an id. I will call it bar. Now we can delete the progress attribute because we are gonna give it attribute by programmatically. By default we want to progress bar to show visibility is invisible. So we give the attribute visibility and set the attribute to gone. Now let's go back to main activity.java. Now here target the web view and called set web chrome client. New web chrome client and in the parenthesis we'll call an override method. So again press control O from your keyboard and choose the first method. On progress changed. Click OK. Now let's initialize our progress bar. So I'm gonna call it progress bar, progress bar. 
progress bar is equal to find view by id and the id that we have given now call the progress bar and set the visibility to visible now again call the progress bar and set the progress here new progress and here attach a if else statement if new progress bar equal to equal to 100 we set the visibility of that progress bar is gone so that will disappear our progress bar when the loading is complete Now for the loading URL, we have to paste it in the below of the, our code because it will cause less error. So cut it and paste it below of our code where the, our code is ends. Now our coding is complete. Let's test our application to see how it works. Now you can see that our application doesn't go to the browser when we click an web page. And it also shows the progress bar when it's loading. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will be seeing you next video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for upcoming series. And click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new